Hello. Today I'd like to show you Abbey Flexi Capture's image enhancement profiles. Now, image enhancing can do a number of different things, including flipping or increasing resolution uh, or modifying the visual appearance of a document, but let me explain it to you here in the terms of a batch. Here I have a few different documents, and you can see these first two documents are typical structured documents, and actually so is this last one, but the problem is this last one and a number of different samples that I have have been flipped. So what I can do is set up an image enhancement profile to accommodate this flipping. The first thing I'm going to do is go to Project, Properties, and I'm going to create an image enhancement profile. For this profile, I need to give it a name, so in my case, we're going to call this Flip horizontally, and you can see here I can tell the software to perform a flip, and I can activate that. If I load an item in here in the preview, the software automatically show me what it does as I select the different options here. So you can see as I click around, the software will show you what it does to the current sample that I have loaded. Some important points to this screen is that sometimes in the image enhancement process. We may want an item to happen before another, so we may want to enhance resolution before we do something else or invert colors before we do something else. And in order to do that, there's an ellipsis here to the left that will allow us to drag these specific items in a subsequent order so that they're processed in the best way to enhance the image. So if you ever need to perform multiple operations to you know, get the best image that you can, just make sure you note that they should really be done in order, just in order to get you the best document. But in this case, I've told the software to flip my images horizontally. Now I'm going to save that. And when I have an image enhancement profile, that profile must be assigned to either a batch type an image import profile, or a scanning station profile. Okay, So what I'm going to do is create a batch type. I'm just going to call this our flip horizontal batch type, but I'm going to tell it to use this image enhancement profile that I just created. And just like typical batch types, I'm just going to leave these alone, but of course you have a bunch of options here that we can modify. But in cases of the demo, I'm going to leave these alone, and I will call this our flip horizontal batch type. Okay. Next I'm going to create a test batch and I'm going to tell the software to use that batch type which then of course uses that image enhancement profile. And what I'm going to do is load a number of different flipped samples that I have and I'll actually double click them to show you. Here's a, the first sample, here's the second, and here's the third. The data is different, but each of those documents are flipped. So what I'm going to do is just simply highlight them into my, bring them into my test batch. And even though they were flipped, you will see here that now the software has performed that image enhancement. It's actually looked at the profile, saw what I told it to do, and I can, of course, see that the software has now flipped the document and then extracted the results accordingly. So this is a pretty important feature because it gives us the ability to modify the document visually before the OCR takes place. For example, in this case, the software is saying, hey, I may want to increase DPI. So if I wanted to increase DPI, I have the ability to modify my processing profile to perhaps increase my resolution to 300 dpi. And then if I process this again, that will make a visual enhancement to the document. So a number of different things we can do here um, to provide some visual updates to the document before that OCR takes place. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.